I won't even try the French, but paper mache um, means chewed paper. Thankfully, that's not really the literal application anymore. <laughs> uh, what you're familiar with very likely already is strips of newsprint or whatever kind of paper or something uh, that's dipped into uh, normally into a glue like a Elmer's glue or something. I like to use wood glue just to keep it a little less uh, a little less likely to dissolve in water. Um, but strips of paper with glue on it to paste onto a surface. You make a bunch of these overlapping each other, let them dry, make more layers, uh, and it'll harden up. You can sand it down to smooth it back down, and then you can paint the surface and it'll look really nice and smooth instead of these kind of rough edged and wrinkly kinds of surfaces that they end up tend to make when you're paper mache things. A little bit of elbow grease and you can make paper mache into some really awesome and cool looking things. Um, and it's a great way to make things on the cheap as well because you can find paper from recycled bins or whatever for free obviously in that case um, and you just have to invest in a little bit of glue mix it with some water typically the best bet for paper mache is, is water based uh, glues because then you can not only dilute it a little bit so that it's kind of like uh, usually you see like a heavy cream kind of a thick uh, viscosity out of the glue after you're done with it or kind of like milk some people do but you want to let the paper soak in it and uh, water-based stuff soaks a little bit nicer into most of your papers so use that put it on let it sit and dry do some cool stuff with it after after that's done uh, really great stuff ask me all sorts of questions and I can help you with the, all sorts of things that way if you like <laughs> They're fun and cheap. I might have mentioned that. <laughs>